Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere! Peace! Peekaboo! <laughs> I see you, because I'm YouTube Famous Now! Available in 2022, the album, Dad AF! <clears throat> Rock on, gold dust woman! Boost! How are you guys doing today? Listen, I have notes. I am fully prepared for this deep dive investigation into Jeffree Star and the mystery of the yak meat. Yakety yak, and don't talk back. Um, but before I do, I want to give a very special shout out and thank you to AdamandEve.com for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love working with AdamandEve.com. They have been so fantastic to continue to work with me. And I get so many messages from you guys that say, oh, I ordered this or I ordered that. Or some people say, I don't want you to know what I ordered, but I ordered something. And so many of you have told me that your partners and you have like gotten online after my videos and ordered stuff together, which I think is fantastic, you know. Um, so thank you for continuing to use my code. It's all listed below. That's all you have to know. Um, <clears throat> AdamandEve.com has a 90-day return policy, no questions asked, 24-hour customer service in case you have questions about the website or anything like that, and 20% of their proceeds go to the prevention of HIV and AIDS around the world, which I, th I think is fantastic. You guys know I love any kind of business that has a cause. So thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring yet another video over here. Okay, so let's get into this video, and I'm just going to kind of dive right into it. Um, I'm not, well, first of all, first of all, I guess I'm not going to dive right into it. I need a Diet Coke, first of all. <laughs> I've said first of all like five times. And I have so much talking to do today that I do need a little bit of lip gloss. So let me get my, uh, Lunar Beauty. <laughs> I got a little bit right here. A <laughs> little bit of a Lunar a Beauty lip gloss going on here. But I do have notes because what I thought was going to be a very simple video two days ago that I was going to post started kind of blowing up. And I was rather surprised, honestly. Um, especially from all of the controversy that Jeffree Star has gotten in through the years. And, you know, I have been doing drama videos on this channel for six years now, and there's been a lot of controversy that Jeffree Star um, has been involved in, and a lot of it has been very, very serious. So I was kind of surprised when I saw this happen. I think partly because I was surprised by the drama surrounding it, but I wasn't surprised by what he was doing, because at this point, I feel like it just is kind of like the nature of the beast, so to speak. Um, and so, yeah, it didn't surprise me at all. So what happened was, and I want to kind of do this in a timeline of events so it all makes sense to you. And I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Yes, I am going to share my opinion over here, but I'm just going to share the facts with you as they kind of unfolded and let you guys make your own decision about this, right? Um, <clears throat> so what happened was, Jeffree Star, he posted on his, um, on the Yak, Ran Star, Yak Star Ranch or whatever it's called, um, <clears throat> well, I have it right here, actually. On the Yak, uh, Star Yak Ranch Instagram, he posted, I need my reading glasses. Where are my reading glasses? Ah! Okay. He posted, our delicious grass-fed yak meat will be available on our online store soon, hoping for next month. But, Wyoming and Casper locals, tomorrow, 528, we will be selling yak meat from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our warehouse. Come stop by and say hey, and we have every cut available. And then he puts the address, and he puts yak meat facts, super high in protein, zinc and B vitamins, bean 90% fat free, yak is a healthy red meat alternative and has more dense nutritional content than skinless chicken, salmon, and beef. Yak is tender and slightly sweeter than bison, okay? And then he also put an Instagram story up on his own Instagram as well as the Star Yak Ranch. So let me run it for you so you guys can see it here now. Oh, hello, guys. Okay, so listen up. If you're in Wyoming and you're in the Casper area, tomorrow we're going to be at my shipping fulfillment center here in Evansville. We're right catty corner with the fire station, and I'll post the address in a minute. But we're having a little taste test, if you will, and we're inviting people of Casper or surrounding areas to come um, and buy our yak meat in person. Say hi, howdy. 
And we have a freezers full. Now this is 100% grass fed right off Casper Mountain. Um, they're so yummy and yaks are actually the healthiest red meat that you can eat in America. Um, and I do have a video very soon coming about this stuff, but tomorrow we're gonna have a little moment from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come on, weekend girl. So I will give you guys the address in a second. Okay, and while supplies last, for new customers that are coming tomorrow, you will get a bag of free jerky. Um, and I cannot wait for you guys to try this. It is so yummy. Okay, so those are the facts as of about two days ago. Going into yesterday, which was his pop, he called it a pop-up shop of selling meat and things like that, this yak meat, right? Well, as soon as he started announcing it, he was met with a lot of criticism from people. And I have to tell you what's interesting is, I went underneath the comments <clears throat> of the Star Yak Ranch and I literally thought it would just be flooded and flooded and flooded with people saying things about Jeffrey lying and here it is, he got, got caught in a lie again. We're gonna talk about this, hold on. He, that he got caught in a lie again, yada, yada, yada. He's just covering up for his lies, but it really wasn't. There were only a few comments in there that I found that were negative and they were really about, I can't believe that you're doing, like you're selling yak meat when, <clears throat> you know, like, uh, you have a vegan cr cruelty-free makeup line and things like that. Now, I will tell you what was interesting that I found was a lot of comments from people saying all of the people in this thread that are so negative and are coming for Jeffree Star over this, yada, 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 um, like, like they need to back up and all this kind of stuff. But what was interesting was I couldn't find a whole lot of those negative comments. So I don't know if Jeffree Star or his team was going in there and they were deleting negative comments, but I, I couldn't find tons of negative comments over there. In fact, the majority of the comments, and I'm completely being fair, 80 to 90% of them, maybe even more than that, were glowing and in support of Jeffree Star and his new business venture. So I don't know like what is being hidden or where people's like true feelings are, are being found, but I couldn't find them in the Star Yak Ranch thread. So Jeffree Star block somebody or delete their comment. I mean, I can't imagine that. So that was what had happened going into the pop-up shop, okay? Then the internet kind of went crazy talking about this. And a lot of people were talking, then it, it came into Jeffree Star is lying because he had come out less than a year ago when people confronted him about trademarking this business. And he said, no, I'm just protecting my business. This is, I have to trademark everything because he trademarked, you know, selling meat and selling this and selling that and whatever. And when people questioned him about it, he was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do any of those things. This is just for me to uh, protect my business so that somebody else can't come along and trademark that. And at that time, many of us, drama channels, people on the internet, people that follow this stuff, threads on Reddit, on and on and on, were talking about Jeffree Star trademarking this to sell as meat and him coming out and saying, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing that at all. I'm not selling this for meat. So that was less than a year ago. It was actually, I think, September 1st of 2021. And I have an insider article in a second that I'm going to read you bits and pieces from. But what was interesting was that people were starting to call him out for the fact that he was being caught yet again in another lie. Because the question always with Jeffree Star is, has he changed, okay? And it was actually interesting because Jeffree Star kind of commented back to the negative reception that he receives on the internet and people coming back, coming for him. Like when all this went down and was said and done yesterday, he was retweeting people that were like the constant <clears throat> you know, like, oh, Jeffree Star of this many years ago. And the constant this is like, why do you guys keep on talking about Jeffree Star? And he was like 100% and whatever. Well, it's because you, you haven't changed, Jeffree. And this is evidence that you have not changed. And Jeffree Star, can, he can sit in as many videos as he wants and say that he's not a liar and that, you know, he, he's changed and he's a changed person, all this kind of stuff. But I'm not witnessing it. I, I'm really not as evidenced by this. And, and I'm going to explain that to you in a second. But I do want to say this, for me, the issue is not anything to do because I think the distraction tactic is, let's make it about the meat, okay? Let's make it about the fact that Jeffree Star supposedly has all these pets, these yak pets that he has on his star ranch, and but he's also slaughtering these yaks. Not the pets, because he's made it very clear that there are 
yak pets, okay, that he loves and is loving towards, and then there are yak pets, not yak pets, I guess, that you slaughter and you eat for beef jerky, okay, while you're sitting there petting your yak. I don't know, okay, but I do want to say this, <clears throat> because I know it's going to come up in some comment, is that I am a vegetarian, and I have been a vegetarian for, I don't know, four and a half, almost five years now, um, and... I only have like two friends or two people in my life that are also, one's vegan, it's a cousin-in-law, and she's very hardcore vegan and I rarely see her. And another one is a friend that I do see on a regular basis that has been a vegetarian for like 31 years, okay? I am not anybody that preaches about it. My husband eats meat, he eats steak, he eats chicken fingers, he eats the whole nine yards, okay? Most of my friends do. I don't, like, that's your business, do you, right? Um, so to me, this is really not about the whole, you know, like, the meat part of it, and, oh, he did this vegan makeup, and whatever. You know, in fact, when I was watching one of his videos, he said, or one of his Instagram stories, Jeffrey said, I put out vegan makeup so that it was accessible to everybody, because there are a lot of people that don't want makeup that has been tried on small animals, and that does make sense to me, right? Jeffree Star has never claimed to be a vegetarian or to be vegan. I mean, we know that. He's constantly showing himself eating large amounts of fast food. And in fact, one of the things that he said was that he wanted to eat healthier. And so when he started researching, I don't know, maybe it was when he was just sitting in the field with one of his pets one of these days, when he started researching, you know, the the quality of yak meat, that what he found was that grass-fed yak meat, it's important, grass-fed, we're going to talk about that in a second, grass-fed yak meat was really, really healthy for you, as he put in the description box under the Instagram story. So let me refer to my notes, because I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Okay, so that was that, and then a lot of people had mixed reactions to it, okay? I think the majority of people that have followed Jeffree Star and this whole situation and situations in the past for a long time were like, here we go, yet again, Jeffree Star getting caught in a lie, okay? For everybody else, it seemed like a lot of people were getting caught up in the vegetarian, vegan thing and <clears throat> him saying, him killing his animals on his, his ranch and all this kind of stuff. And he was like, people were like, you obviously don't understand ranching and blah, 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 blah and all that kind of stuff. Listen, okay? My aunt and uncle owned a farm. They farmed steer. I'm not clueless to what that. I used to spend every summer with them when I was a little kid. I've seen Charlotte's Web, okay? And I think most people have at this point. So I think we understand the whole attachment issue to animals on a farm, okay? It's, we're not stupid. Let's be for real, right? But I think that when Jeffree Star has painted this picture, and he has not, this is important, he has not painted a picture to this point of a separation of yaks. That these are my yaks over here that I love and that they all have names and I take them, you know, shopping, because he does, take them um, shopping and things like that. And then these yaks over here, well, they're just to make me money, okay? He has never differentiated that yet, okay? Until, you know, like, well, I guess yet now he has in videos where he's come out and he said, hey, listen, whoa, 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 what we're not going to do in 2022, okay, 2020-22, is make Jeffree Star the yakety yak, don't talk back, yak drama of the world. We're not going to do it, okay? Because y'all are running your own narrative. Y'all are running your own narrative and running with, no, Jeffree, we're not, okay? We're running with the facts that you gave us, and we're following your story. And the problem is, your story doesn't match up, okay, at all, at all. So it's just, it's like, give me a break. So anyway, um, I want to read this Insider article because what happened was September, around September 1st last year, end of August, Jeffree Star trademarked um, this Star Yak Ranch, okay? And one of the things that he, um, well, it'll talk about this in this article. Hold on a second. So let me get to the article in the Insider. Jeffree Star calls his yaks majestic creatures after trademarking Star Yak Ranch butchering. And this was on September 1st of 2021. Give a little shout out to Kat Timberg. How are you doing, girl? And um, <clears throat> so it says underneath here, Jeffree Star said he trademarked Star Yak Ranch to protect his expanding business. The controversial makeup guru bought a $1.1 million Wyoming ranch and a herd of yaks. Star trademarked the brand for categories like yarn, pet food, and butchering services. Okay. Jeffree Star says that his plans for the newly acquired herd of yaks will soon be revealed and that nothing is happening except brushing them, loving them, and feeding them. In a Snapchat story on Tuesday, I can't say that, 
The controversial makeup mogul and beauty YouTuber said that he had been building Star Yak Ranch, which he filed to trademark through his Wyoming-based LLC on August 4th. So I guess it was filed on August 4th. On Tuesday, Insider reported on public filings that showed Star's new self-titled LLC in Wyoming filed a trademark Star Yak Ranch across several categories related to farming and agriculture. Um, and goes on to talk about all this kind of stuff. Variety of edible items like yak meat. Star's LLC filed a trademark Star Yak Ranch in categories including clothing, edible pet treats, and butchering services. Since Insider's report was published, tweets have gained traction, speculating. Okay, and it goes on, talks about this stuff. Star appeared to be responding to the complaints and called his yaks majestic creatures. I think they are. We've been filming so much stuff the last month from the very first yak getting there until right now, Star said on Snapchat, which we still have yet to see much of that, right? Having a ranch has been so fulfilling. It's actually something I've dreamed about since I was little. And I will tell you that my last point on my notes, point 15, is that, or that's so what do you think? Point 14, he literally could have put a video out explaining his changing his mind. And, and, and that's one of my issues. If, if, and I say this time and time again with these YouTubers, bring us along for the journey. Okay, if Jeffree Star in September of last year had put out a video saying this is what I'm going to do with my yak ranch and I'm going to sell this for meat and I've decided that I'm going to sell this for my meat if he had decided by September, which is an interesting point, hold on, um, you know, and, and said this is what I'm doing, blah, 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 he still would have met the same amount of disdain as he is getting on the internet right now, but I think that he would have brought people along for the ride and he wouldn't be getting this right now. And I also think that more people would be interested in this because there's a lot of people out there that really don't care that Jeffree Star is selling meat. They really don't, you know? So it goes on to say, Star said the move was to protect himself from people using his trademark um, in those categories. Uh, so let's say I trademark it for yarn, cheese, breeding, butchering, etc. It doesn't mean I'm doing any of those things, Star said. What, when I'm laying on a yak and I'm naming them, nothing is happening except brushing them, loving them, and feeding them. I guess that just applies to his pets, though. Since August 2020, Star has documented his move from... Okay, it goes on to talk about his house. Um, as Star has posted about his yak journey on New Yak Ranch social media profiles, he's also promoted... Okay, it goes on. Um, so, that was what Jeffree Star said, that when he's laying on them, whatever. Now... Jeffree Star has always been a person that lies by omission. So it's like, do you remember when you were in high school and like you walk to the library and then you tell your mom you're going to the library and then when you get to the library, your friend Susie picks you up and then you drive around smoke clove cigarettes and maybe drink a little Boone's Farm. Y'all remember that if you're my age? Okay. But then when your mom gets home later, you're like wobbling in the door and your mom goes, Susie, did you go to the library? And you go, yes, mom, of course I did. That is Jeffree Star, okay? That is Jeffree Star all day long. He's making you forget about the clove cigarettes in the Boone's farm, all right? And that, that's clearly lying by omission. You're not saying, and Susie picked me up, okay? And we went over to a bunch of boys' houses and just got shit-faced all day long. Okay, he's not talking about that, right? So it's like, I might have one yak that I'm laying on that I named Judy Smith, but the rest of them, they're just for jerky, okay? <laughs> they're just for beef jerky at this point. I'm gonna be selling them in the gas stations of Casper, Wyoming, maybe with some cheese. So it's like, I don't know, like, and he convinces himself that he's telling the truth. That is what, to me, is absolutely so ludicrous and hilarious about this. Not this given situation, but it's just like, it's like I said before, it's like Jeffree Star lives in Hogwarts and he just kind of like makes his own, you know, whatever, which I will tell you is funny because in a video clip I'm about to show you, he comes out and he says that people are running with their own narrative. So anyway, let's get to my notes here for a second. Um, so this is the thing that I want to know. Jeffree Star comes out and he says that he changed his mind, okay? When did that happen? That would be interesting to me to know, okay? Because you trademark this on August 4th. At the time that you got called out about it, you said that you were just laying and on these yaks and I don't know. And what you do when you lay with a yak, but don't talk back, I guess. But, um, you know, and then it's like all of a sudden you're saying nothing's happening to the yaks or just brushing them. At what point did you change your mind? Because as a genius businessman that your fans call you, I would like to know what the business plan looks like for, because um, I looked it up and the uh, period of time it takes to raise a yak that's grass fred, I almost said breast fed, that's gas, that's, I can't say it, that's grass fed is 24 to 28 months, okay? 
So you're talking two to two, almost two and a half years of having to grass feed a yak and then come up with the packaging and how that's going to look and like where you're, I mean, I, I don't know if this is, he's never shown us really all of this. So I don't know if this is a fully working ranch that has like the slaughtering area or I don't even know how any of that works or what, you know what I'm saying? So what is the period of that? Because we're talking about the end of May and then September 1st. So we're talking, what is that, you know, like nine months or something is, is the period. So you change your mind and then right away get into business. Is it, I, I I'm just interested because that's my question, okay? Is when you go, God, can't I change my mind? Well, that's a pretty big change of mind, okay? To say I'm not gonna do this, to I'm fully gonna be invested in it, and this is my new business adventure, okay? Now, I have friends of mine all the time that start new businesses, and it's a lot of work, okay? It's not just like one day you're doing it, the next day you're doing a pop-up shop. No, 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 okay? So I ain't buying that part of it. I'm not buying that it was just, I changed my mind one day. I think that to him sounds like a good excuse that his fans will buy because they leech onto that then and what they say is, can't somebody change their mind? We all change our minds. Sure, I changed my mind every 30 seconds, you know? Hell, I went to the, didn't even drink my Diet Coke yet. Went to the refrigerator, thought I wanted a limoncello. By the time I got there, I wanted a Diet Coke. I can change my mind all the time. But some changes of mind are a little bit more time consuming, okay? And when you're doing a business venture like this, that you now are doing a pop-up shop and saying that next month there's gonna be a whole website set up where you're selling meat and distributing it across the country, are you wanting us to buy that that whole change of mind occurred in two or three months? No, 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 I, I, I'm just not buying it, okay? So it goes into all that, <clears throat> and then the tweets start coming out yesterday. You guys, <clears throat> I mean, it's like Jeffree Star, you know, like, I think Dustin Daly said something like, this is Jeffree Star from like 2016 or something, and it is, it truly is. I just was like, I mean, you need to learn to shut your mouth, okay? You need to learn to shut your mouth because you're not as grand as people thought you were back in the day, and you're just making yourself look like a fool, okay, at this point. So Jeffrey Star tweeted out, I'm not gonna include these in here, I'm just gonna read them, there's about 10 of them. Somebody, uh, he said, I guess some people forgot that it's okay to change your mind or evolve an idea. People are so effing weird, it's a trip. If you're losing sleep over me, it's time for some self-reflection. Don't forget, Jeffrey, that the people that you're offending right now that are like, hmm, well, I'm a fan of Jeffree Stars, but I'm wondering, like, he changed his mind? Like, this doesn't make sense to me. Or, hell, I'm a vegan, and I've always bought Jeffree Star because of his vegan, but now he's selling yak meat. So the people that you're telling that are weird for wanting to ask, I think, nor rather normal business questions, are also your fans. And I don't think your sales are real good right now. So you might not want to be pissing off your fans. I'm just saying, okay? Uh, the world is so dark and ugly. Why project yourself anger at me? And when people want to come to me and tell me that this is about me because I'm a drama channel, listen, okay? I may not know a lot, okay? I may not. And I didn't do real well in high school. And you know how I did get my undergraduate and graduate degree. And there's a lot I don't know about in the world. You know, like I don't know how snakes poop and stuff like that. I keep on having to look it up because I forget. But one thing I do know is my place, and I'm a drama channel, okay? I'm a drama channel, I report on the drama. And Jeffrey, when you get yourself involved in the drama, that does not, not mean by any mean, any way, shape, or form that I'm obsessed with you. What that means is, you're the news story of the day. You don't wanna be the news story of the day? I don't know what to tell you, okay? Stop going off on people on Twitter. <laughs> you did very well for a very long time. I guess I'll give you tiny claps for that, okay? But you know, like, if you don't like it, I don't know. <laughs> don't do it. The world is so dark and ugly. Why project yourself anger at me? Okay, Je okay, Jeffrey. Our country is trying, okay, and then he goes into this whole thing about he's gonna make it, you know, it, ugh, okay. Stop using the same regurgitated quote from last year when I said all of my yaks are pets. They are. But months later I learned how healthy yak meat is and I started to appreciate learning where my food comes from. Educate yourself and not immediately lash out. So here's my question. This is my, I feel like an educated question. He said months later, so they were all pets. That was in September, okay? Months later, would that be October, November? I mean, October's one month later, November, December. So how many months does it take to put a business plan together to sell yak meat? Or was that your plan all along? Because if that was your plan all along, hey, I don't really care. Let that be your plan. But then you lied to everybody. And it's evidence that you lied to everybody. If that wasn't your plan all along and you changed your mind, 
do a video and show how that all looked because or how that all worked because it's like it doesn't make sense and you're calling us weird no i think you know what's going on here you got caught in a lie and when jeffrey gets caught in a lie this is how he responds okay when i st stopped eating fast food and started to care about my body more i realized i wanted to take what I was doing to a different avenue as well. And it's been a beautiful experience not eating horrible meat from farmers that give animals growth hormones and disgusting additives. And I think that's a fair statement. I really do. I see no, okay. And then somebody said, I think it's idea of a publicly vegan cosmetics line versus publicly promoting meat consumption. It's a bit of a conflict of interest. No, I personally don't care to each their own. And he said, I see no conflict. I chose to create a cosmetics line that doesn't torture and test on animals. We all know I've never claimed to be vegan. It's about evolving in the beauty industry and moving past the old ways. I think that's a fair statement. And then he said, trust me, I grew up in a huge city and didn't understand the culture of hunting and providing your family with food for a year. I never gave an F where the food came from that I was putting in my body. I love getting older and expanding my knowledge 100%. I think that's fair. Okay, and then somebody said something and he said, people are scary, bro. They literally make up their own narratives to create chaos. This is important, okay? I'll say this one more time. Every yak on my social media with a name is my pet. I don't name my food. But that's different than what you said before, Jeffrey. Okay? That's different. That's Susie at the library. Okay? Then when her mom says, well, my friend Jane Smith saw you driving down the street. She said, well, you didn't ask me if I was driving down the street. You asked me if I went to the library. Do you guys get, this is where Jeffree Star lies. People are like, he's not a liar. I'm like, he absolutely is a liar. He lies by omission all the time. You didn't ask me that question, okay? So then somebody says, 12 year olds on Twitter don't understand ranching, not surprised. And he goes, they're born with iPads in their hands and no parents to love them. Seriously, Jeffrey, okay? I don't know. When I was a kid, we were outside every day getting exercise, not glued to a screen, writing strangers, horrible comments, welcome to the new world. Well, I mean, here again, Jeffrey, your entire career was built off MySpace. <laughs> was it that 12-year-old's writing comments on a screen? I mean, your entire career was built on MySpace, and yet now you want to, like, piss on the thing that got you where you're at? I, I, just give me a break. It's too much. And then... Somebody said this whole thing just shows how uneducated people are and how you haven't given them enough drama to latch onto while they're so grasping with all their might as it is. And Jeffrey responds and says, grasping at effing straws on Memorial Day weekend. We all know I used to crave drama. When did you say that? When did you say in a video that you crave drama? I don't remember you saying that. I remember you saying what we're not going to do is be the drama of 20 whatever. I remember you coming at Manny and Laura, okay? Still haven't apologized for that. You know, I rem but you're a changed person. Changed person, people make amends and apologies and things like that. You know, I don't remember you ever getting in a video and fully explaining why you used to crave drama. I don't. I, I don't remember that. Somebody let me know in the comment section below. Um, but he's genuinely happy. I know that upsets some people. I don't think, like, this is the, well, I won't even get into that. So, then, and this is the, the kicker right here because he deleted this one. Um, somebody said, so he said, stop using the same regurgitated quote from last year when I said all of my yaks were pets. And somebody responded and said, so you want us to believe you just randomly wanted a yak farm, love them like pets, and then realize the good meat and profit? And he said, responds and says, but he's deleted this sense. I could give one F what you thought. You sound like a complete piece of SHI toot, and your existence is irrelevant to my world. Go eat some yak and take a Xanax. Okay. All right, Jeffrey. So then the next thing I want to talk about is this video that he put out last night on Star Yak Ranch and his Instagram story and whatever where he says he is not a liar. So here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three, hit it. Girl, let me fix these bangs before I open my mouth. Side note, please screen and record this if you have memory loss. Um, people are allowed to change their mind. People are allowed to evolve their idea. Um, it's so weird because I've been keeping to myself for a few years, bitch. You know, I never go on. Remember the old days with Snapchat rants? Oh my God, girl. When the beauty industry was at its height and we'd hop on here every day and ah! But I do want to say one thing that's funny. People are so weird because it's me. It's going to be something always different, right? Bitch, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not a liar. But you don't know me. I'm me, bitch. And I bought a ranch. Months later, the idea evolved. I educated myself on where the food I was putting into my body came from. And bitch, I didn't give a fuck about myself. 
Hi, I ate McDonald's every day. I was promoting Taco Bell like it was fucking Chanel. Disgusting. I'm so disappointed in myself. I mean, hello. I got sponsored by Taco Bell. I did so many videos with fast food. And I'm like, that's just not me anymore, bitch. I'm, I'm a different person. Um, so, no, I'm not a liar. Um, I started raising yaks over a year ago. And I still have 120 pets. And the only yaks that you guys have ever seen on social media are my pets. Any tag with a name is my pet. People are so... I think if you just don't like me in general, you're just hopping on this thing today. Maybe it's Memorial Day weekend. You're bored. But I'm like, girl, stop making up in your heads. People are literally making up their own narratives. You're slaughtering Swiss chocolate and buster. No, they're actually right outside the window grazing on the grass. Um, and I can't wait for their semen <laughs> to impregnate a lot of girls and have some amazing babies. Maybe because I've never like shown the world that I've ever sold a yak before or what I do all day. It may be a little bit of a shocker to some people, but baby, relax, take a Xanax, take a hit, go get some fresh air. Anything to not concern yourself with what I'm doing. Because the world's already so fucked up, right? Okay. That's what Jeffrey has to say. Now, there is a word that I'm so tired of, thanks to Gabby Hanna, and that word is gaslighting. But I think it's really important when we're talking about Jeffree Star, okay? Jeffree Star is somebody that takes a situation, takes no accountability for it whatsoever. I mean, this is a situation that would be so easily solved. I mean, he literally could just make a 10 minute video. I mean, set it up himself and, and film it and be like, you guys, there's so much controversy over this yak meat. Let me just explain it to you, okay? I know people are upset with me. Maybe there's a lot of people that think I shouldn't be doing this because I own a vegan cosmetics line, but it's really not that deep. Like, I was on this ranch. I had kind of thought of the idea of ranching and that I might want to do it and that I thought it was fun and it was profitable. And, and so, you know, one day I just decided to do it. And yeah, it's been a process and I have a team that I'm working with and whatever. It didn't have to turn into this. He's literally the one that continues to drive this drama. You know, why? Because this is going to drive sales of the yak meat when it comes out. It's going to keep the story alive. Because if not, and nobody's talking about his yak meat, nobody's going to care and nobody's going to buy it, right? But this is what I want to say. is when Jeffree Star says that people are running their own narrative, it's gaslighting, okay? And I want to read to you the, the definition of gaslighting in case you've heard it, but you don't still know what it means. It is to manipulate by psychological means into somebody questioning their own sanity. So you're sitting there and you're saying to yourself, well, I feel like Jeffree Star came out and he said all of his pets were his friends, you know, and he wasn't going to just do anything but brush them. But now he's selling some of them, I guess, for me, or those weren't his pets, or I'm very confused. And it makes you question your own sanity of what you believe to be true. That's the definition of gaslighting, okay? And so when I say in videos that Jeffree Star is very manipulative of his audience, that's it, okay? So for example, let me, here, let me show you an example of the manipulation. When Jeffree Star came out and he said that he trademarked his business to protect his business so that nobody else could trademark anything to do with Star Yak Ranch, okay? And the drama channels and everybody else were talking about it. His fans said, wait, 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 wait. Jeffree Star would never, never, he loves animals. He has all these dogs. He's a vegan freak cosmetics company, yada, 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 okay? Yaka, yaka, yaka. And <laughs> that was the answer, okay? To all the drama channels and everybody. You guys are reaching. You guys are doing this. You guys are running with your own narrative. You're doing this now, okay? Jeffree Star's come out and said, I changed my mind. I could change my mind. And his fans are saying, you cha he changed his mind. He can change his mind. Well, what happened to all you people out there that are telling us that he can change his mind now? But six months ago, you were telling us that it was to protect his business. Is that excuse? Does that not count anymore? Is that excuse not good enough anymore? I I'm confused, okay? And I'm trying to question my own sanity. So I feel gaslit like hell, but Jeffree Star, my lord, you know? Because it doesn't make any sense. And that's the thing, okay? And Jeffree Star is somebody that wants to continuously keep you confused because if you stay confused, then there's no discussion, okay? There's no real answer to it. When what Jeffree Star doesn't understand is that his declining views, his declining sales and all that is based on the fact that people are over the confusion. They're over what seems to be like lies or not. Or maybe it's none of it is lies. Maybe it's all the truth. But he never comes out and addresses it. And if he would just come out and address it, people would understand better what's going on, okay? But I personally think he's a liar. So anyway, even though he says he's not, you know, it's like I was watching that video last night on his Instagram and he's like, I'm not a liar. It's like, do you know your friend? And like, 
they're just not a very good person. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, you go to lunch or dinner and they always stick you with the bill. Or, you know, it's like they're cheating on their partner time and time again. And, you know, it's just like all of these different things, you know, that they're just, I don't know, it's like, they're just not a good person, but they're always telling you what a good person they are. Y'all know somebody, because I know a few people like that. They're always, I'm such a good person. I'm such a good person. Like, I'm, why? I'm such a good person. <laughs> you know, like, well, I don't know. Maybe you need to do some evaluation and inventory. Okay. So let me, and then the final thing I wanted to say is that I really do think that Jeffree Star could have put a video out explaining all this. Not today, not the day before the pop-up to drive attention to the pop-up, but he could have put this out, let's say two to three months ago. And he could have said, you guys have changed my mind. I want to run this business now. This is what I'm doing, whatever. You know, if there's really nothing to hide from, this is what I never understand. Okay, if there's nothing to hide from and there is no drama and it's just people running their own narrative, then show the journey. What, what's there to hide from from the journey? You've kept this a secret since September 1st when the insider put the story out. You've kept it a secret. Since then, you haven't said anything about starting Yak Mean or whatever. Maybe a, a, a few things that you've alleged here and there, but nothing where you've come out and said, you know, as of, you know, the end of May, I'm going to be selling yak meat and jerky and come get it at my ranch. You know what I mean? And, and you can meet me too. I mean, he hasn't said anything about that. So you haven't brought anybody around for the journey. The other thing I will say this is that all these people want to talk about what a great businessman he is. Did he not see that he was going to get resistance to this when it came out? Like, he's fighting back on Twitter. He's fighting back on Instagram. But he doesn't want any drama, right? Then d just... Shut your mouth and don't say anything if you don't want any drama. But did he not see, or did somebody on his team, I mean, one of these, you know, he has this huge team. Did somebody not say, you know, Jeffrey, like, if you wait and don't say anything about this until the day before your pop-up shop, and the last mention of it was when you came out and said that you just brush your <laughs> yaks like they're Barbie dolls. I mean, like, do you not think that people are going to question that? I mean, seriously, like, that's where it's, it really truly is gaslighting. Like, we're like, what is going on here? We're, like, losing our minds, you know? But he's the one that didn't give us the answers for months on end. But we're the ones running with our own narrative. No, no, I'm not buying it. But let me know what you think. That's what I want to know. I want to know what you think about all of that. Put it in the comment section below. Do not forget to use my Adam and Eve code. It's listed below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.